Hello again, and this is, uh, I lost count of how much games, it's fourth or fifth, fifth game, uh, game number five, yeah, CEF on UEF, and I'm actually not sure why they choose UEF on this map, I'm really not sure, like, what UEF has, I guess, um, is a Ravenger uh, is only thing that I see, but um, these games very often go to Tech 3 Mobile Artist spam, as well as t sometimes people start Tech 2 Mobile Tech 2 Artist spam just because they know that Tech 3 um, <laughs> Tech 3 Mobile. Uh, I'm reading those hidden messages in chat, chat. Okay, so as I said, people sometimes make T2 artist spam <sighs> because they know that Tech 3 Mobile RT spam is coming. So right now, you just need to make as much um, build capacity as you can and tell all your build capacity to make mass extractors or power generators depending on what you actually need right now and that's all you need to do and actually that's all uh, a lot about space management and you can see Patrick Pons build his factory pretty far to the top not he could build it right here I don't know why he didn't do this maybe because he wants to make pigeons next to the factory and actually, you can see this engineer right now assisting this pigeon production would be better. Prob actually, it's perfect. And um, <laughs> nice land scout. But in um, first uh, few minutes, there is really not much happening here because you really want to build all those uh, mass extractors that are available to you and uh, it's really hard to tell when you actually need to start making more factories so Blackheart is doing it now and uh, still not that great of positioning you really should try to space everything away from your mass extractors because uh, they will grow in size very fast uh, and I think it's much much better uh, we can see that uh, Patrick Pounds is try harding to make uh, single buildings uh, at, at single time so Well, wow, this tank actually <laughs> managed to raid this base, kill this engineer, and Blackheart says he has to work on this uh, factory, and now there are more raids coming. And that's just insane. But so far, it's actually pretty, pretty much okay to split your build capacity. Um, to do multiple tasks because uh, of pathfinding issues there's so many maxes here that they block uh, shots oh and Blackheart has to move his ACU but there's actually another tank coming so a lot of annoying harassment here So I'm really curious what tech choices um, each player will choose and you can actually bomb those mass extractors easily. It's not that big of a deal but it's really really annoying because um, you will have to rebuild them and when you do it's just generally annoying to click on them. You have to you can't just drag mass extractors like like you can dra drag other buildings and 
That's the only thing that makes it hard. Um, so, eco of these players is only limited by amount of mass extractors or you can say by amount of engineers that they keep here to make mass extractors constantly. You can even try to make a new kind of expansion here to make mass extractors in two times at the same in two places at the same time. So T1 spam is coming and looks like T1 spam is coming to an end. T2 is coming soon for better cones. T2 factory already here by Blackheart and actually Sparkies could be a good unit here. But of course you want to have power to utilize unlimited mass extractors and I would uh, really like to see Blackheart making mass extractors with more than just his ACU. But I guess right now he's more limited by power. And yeah, he's behind on power. Let's look what happens to the better cones. He's yeah, I would say he's more in need of build capacity, but as soon as factory goes to T2, T2 he can start getting other factories to T2 and burn through that mass. So here we see more T2 support factories. And bombers. Bombers are coming. Imagine killing engineers. Actually, I think killing engineers would hurt even more. Wow, this mass extractors were upgrading at least I mean one of them were, was upgrading and actually pretty useless and only thing that it gives uh, like upgrading only thing that it gives to you is more HP on the mass extractor it's basically draining your power while I mean he really needs this uh, T2 pigeon so Upgrading mass extractors at least early is really bad choice. I prefer to have like uh, a few separate groups at least three and like they all go for example Counterclockwise or clockwise and they build all extractors because they actually don't appear instantly as you build you can see there they appear Time after time. It's some sort of lag protection TML is being built here by Patrick Jones second pigeon and more pigeons going down by Blackheart. A little bit slower here. Right, the Patrick Pounds, and he's still spamming some T1. I'm not sure. It probably just has a lot of T1 pigeons and doesn't have to rely on T2 pigeons so much. Well, honestly, I'm not sure, but yeah, no, I'm not sure. I'd say both players need to build T1 maxes faster just need to more engines. First group of uh, Blackheart's units trying to attack here, they have some kills from killing T1 stuff. Oh, actually, uh, when I look at, it, like, I look at this amount, it seems kind of low, but if uh, I look here and here, you can see that Patrick Jones does uh, make a good job. Uh, by the way, you can just uh, see a a opponent's economy <laughs> through the fog of war because of this. I'm not sure what, what's the plan for Blackheart here, what he's gonna do. We can see the three land for, for both players as a plan here. And only one TML here, by the way. Because obviously you can just make more. Much slower on the pigeons, but ec economy is balanced for Patrick Pons while for Blackheart he's wasting quite a bit. Probably need to make more factories. Pretty, I would say he's lacking here. But maybe when he will get Tech 3, he will get more Tech 3 support factories and then will be fine. No TMD and 3 missiles can really ruin his day here. So only one is loaded now, second is getting close. 
and no sparkies which is a bit um, strange and not enough air scouts oh here here we see first blackheart's air factory is making scouts uh, he has nothing the air here but if you come from the right side uh, all those engineers are exposed and i'm not really sure what he's going to do here with uh, tech 3 engineer and it seems like he stopped making t1 maxes here for some time might be a mistake t2 acu is done here i mean it would be awesome to make t1 maxes with t2 acu oh nice t2 pd here i mean any kind of pd creep on this map is always really nice you don't even have to think about your mess you just have to spend your pigeons i mean not pigeons spend your uh, power wisely and just spam as much mass extractors as, as you possibly can so tech 3 engineers and making sam launcher and going for tech 3 pigeon and i guess neither player going to 42 rt neither player i see going for uh, uh tech 3 rt and <laughs> funny that uh, he's going for titans here so maybe he wants to win by humiliation uh, not exactly sure how to pronounce that but I, I hope you know what I mean a lot of harassment and superior to, to spam by uh, <laughs> by Patrick Townsend, and here is the 3 factory with assist making strikers pretty sad to see he even has model shields here I think it will be cool to see more artillery on this map and now we see missiles launched might be a little bit too late yeah just a tiny bit too late one TMD is here uh, but all other, all those uh, support factories are quite exposed here, so can kill them instead. I think Titans is really poor choice here because uh, Percy doesn't do any overkill on Pillar. I mean, it's 100 damage overkill, and that's very low. Oh, and I see what's coming on here. It's trying. He's trying to kill this uh, TMD, but more TMD is being built here. Here's a Percy, not not getting any kills because of mobile shields. And actually, Percy is dying to, uh, to two tanks, and I'm not even gonna talk about Titans here. So Patrick Bones is doing very very well here, but uh, he's not he's not that ahead on power or eco. I guess he is ahead on eco, that's for sure. Very nice harassment. At least he's keeping enemy titans. Uh, away from his base and making his own spam of Percy Tech 3 artillery no mass extractor upgrades it looks like and Janus bombers <laughs> yeah that's that's really funny game here because those T1 bombers and we have Janus bombers actually pretty good here but that's a really sad game for Blackheart he can't really do anything can't compete with amount of build power 
on the defending. He has to reclaim on this map. I mean, yeah, that that's reclaim is useful here, but when you have infinity one max, two hundred T one max. Actually, at some point you have to upgrade them because it you get unit cap. Two hundred against. Uh, 115 so close to double but here we actually see uh, Ravengers uh, being built and they kind of counter this um, uh, all the spam if actually more Ravengers will get constructed they kind of counter on all the spam but at the same time, at the same time, Patrick Bones does make factory artillery. So can't tell for sure. I'm just waiting for someone to start um, T2 RT spam in the middle of the map or someone to start fat boy I don't understand why it's not happened yet apparently Patrick Jones is going for more and more and more of um, Percival spam while Blackheart is going for more Ravengers I would say but artillery is in place maybe one got killed actually and there is a TML being launched right now and I don't see TMD oh here is a TMD that killed this TML but I mean Ravengers can be TML so this Percival spam by um, Petri Pions should work actually I think that was some good micro here you can see each of those Percys have multiple kills and I'm not sure if that's the T1 RT is only reason for that. Oh the factory Fijian is dead and I that's actually where Percival and HQ is under fire. HQ is dead and where is Tech 3 NG? Anywhere? Where is ACU? Oh, here is Tech 3 NG. And he might try to actually make um, Fat Boys. Fat Boy with uh, Tech 2 PD, Tech 3 PD uh, would work. But yeah, here is a Fat Boy already in construction by Patrick Jones, I guess. We can even speed this, speed this out, speed this up. And that also ended up being pretty boring game because early advantage that Petricon got by just having better build order I would say and just having this couple tanks harassing it just um, helps him to keep his advantages. TML is killing T1 factories on the left. And Petri Pyongs does has his own revenue creep and Blackheart just gives up. Because his Factory HQ is gonna get killed again and of course he's really far behind and actually strats here in production. One is already here. Uh, I was hoping for less one-sided game. But there's nothing you can do, I guess. It's actually a map where you can get uh, like quantum gateway with 
at least five mass extractor adjacency but it doesn't matter because <coughs> if you need mass you can just build more mass extractors and if you upgrade them actually you can see you get a lot of adjacency bonus mass extractor to mass extractor and upgrades uh, fa fairly cheap by mass so yeah that was crazy rush game UEF vs UEF, UEF. Uh, too bad we didn't have any rules that forbid uh, mirror matchups I think that would be more interesting so yeah that's it Patrick is leading in score right now